tonight. We're gathering the board members and the administration of John Cabot University of Rome, the leading American university in Italy. We're gathering tonight to honor three distinguished individuals. They are John Katsimatidis, public policy, uh, Bob Del Tufo, who is uh, formerly Attorney General of the State of New Jersey and a member of the board, and Natalia Quintavale, who is the wonderful, wonderful Consul General of Italy in New York. She's done so much for Italian and Italian-American relations that this university, which has a foot both there and here, felt it appropriate to honor her, and we're doing so tonight. John Capo University is an American overseas university and uh, is in Rome since 1972. And uh, we are right in Trastevere. And recently we've been expanding rather considerably. We have reached uh, all almost 1,300 students now. The majority of visiting students are American. They come from the United States. They come from all over the United States. And we have about 700 students per semester on average who come from the United States to study with us. We are the foremost Italian-American university. We have day students, we have graduates, we're going to have a big school. And it's just a wonderful bridge between America and Italy. We have a wonderful faculty and wonderful students and wonderful graduates. John Cabot is a very special university. It offers young people a chance to have what we refer to as a global education. They uh, attend the University in Rome. Uh, the makeup of the student body is varied and so uh, the, the students have an opportunity to interact with people from all over the world at a very young age. And I think it helps to define them in their educational process. We're starting to find that uh, bringing the two cultures together is leading to a great deal of networking between Italy and the United States in ways we couldn't imagine. There's a lot of entrepreneurship going on in Italy, a lot of changes in terms of the younger generation having to step up to the plate because of what's going on with the economy of that country. And the university is in an optimal position to, to be part of this change. The world is getting much smaller. Education is the most important word in our dictionary. Now, education, where people come from all different cultures, they come from India, China, Rome, Paris, United States, Brazil, when they come, they bring with them, uh, not only are they good students, that they study the subject matters in English, but they bring with them their culture, their traditions, their history. And when you find that in a student body, people get more out of going to college than just what they learn from a professor. They learn a great deal from each other. This is just a jewel of a school, uh, and it's thriving so much now. Rome is a wonderful place to live, and you're, you're in the immediate vicinity of all the um, all that art and uh, uh, statues and all kinds of things that would make a living in Rome so, so meaningful. I'm humbled to be here and uh, it's a wonderful school and I love Rome. Uh, I'm part Italian a little bit. My uh, father was an Italian citizen from the Vodokani Silence. And the Dodecanese Islands were part of Italy till uh, March 7th, 1948. I was born September 7th, so I was conceived an Italian. I was born a Greek, but I was conceived an Italian by an Italian uh, citizen father. I'm one of the honorees of this uh, very important event. 
Uh, the John Cabot University is an American institution, but uh, its seat is in Rome. And it's something that uh, I like very much because it uh, put together the uh, Italian culture, the, the presence in a city like Rome, and uh, the uh, American ways of uh, learning, of teaching, so in a very modern and uh, very interesting way. So I uh, am very honored uh, to be here with very important persons. Uh, the other honorees are much bigger and important than me. Uh, but I'm very proud of uh, representing Italy also in this kind of uh, event. John Cabot is Giovanni Cabotto. He was a citizen of Venice. John Cabot is much more important than Christopherus Columbus because John Cabot is the one who discovered North America, a Newfoundland, and he's responsible for the fact that English is spoken in North America because he, he planted the flag of Britain. So he's the perfect bridge. That's why we named the university after him because it is an ideal bridge between Italy and the United States.